In upcoming episode, we dive deep into a whirlwind of emotions as John faces a shocking accusation involving Laurel's son, Arthur. Tensions run high as Laurel confronts John, demanding answers, while Arthur wrestles with his own struggles. Secrets bubble to the surface, and the once close relationships are on the verge of shattering. Will John be able to clear his name, or will the mounting suspicions destroy everything? Arthur sat silently, his fingers tracing the outline of his drink on the bar. He didn't ask for any of this, the whispers, the rumours, the glances that followed him around the village. Every step felt heavier now. John had been someone he could talk to, someone who understood. But here he was, accused of things Arthur couldn't even wrap his head around. His mom, Laurel, had stormed into the wool pack, her voice sharp and her eyes burning with accusation. He could hear her across the room, John standing defensively, trying to explain, but it was like talking to a brick wall. Laurel, it's not what you think. John's voice cracked with the weight of his words. He wasn't just defending himself, he was pleading. But for Laurel, the lines had blurred long before today. Arthur wanted to scream, to shout, to tear through the tension that was strangling them all. But his feet were rooted, the weight of everyone's gaze holding him back. His mom's voice broke through again, fiercer this time, trembling with the kind of pain only a parent feels when they believe their child is in danger. I've heard the whispers, John. What am I supposed to believe? Laurel's eyes were wild, caught somewhere between fear and fury. She wasn't just protecting her son, she was trying to cling to the truth, or whatever fragmented version of it she could hold on to. John sighed, running a hand through his hair, a gesture Arthur recognized well. He was out of words, he'd said it all. The truth was on the table, but Laurel wasn't ready to pick it up. Arthur's been struggling, Laurel, John finally said, his voice softer now like a man too tired to fight. I was just trying to be there for him to help him through it, that's all. Laurel's face crumpled for just a moment, but she hardened again. And what do you think people are going to say when they hear about this? About you being there for him? Arthur's stomach twisted. His mom meant well. He knew that. But she was missing the point. Everyone was. He stood, his legs shaky, but he forced himself toward the bar. Mom. Arthur's voice cut through the room, quieter than Laurel's but filled with a determination that silenced her for a second. This isn't what you think. He turned to John, who looked back at him with something like relief, and Arthur knew he had to speak up now before everything spun out of control. I needed someone, okay? Arthur's voice trembled, the words sticking in his throat. John was just there for me. That's it. Nothing else. Laurel blinked, her eyes darting between the two of them confusion settling on her features. She wanted to believe her son, but doubt clung to her like a shadow, fed by all the things she had heard, all the whispers that had crept into her mind. Why didn't you come to me? She asked, her voice breaking slightly. Why go to him? Arthur glanced down, his heart racing. He hadn't wanted to hurt her, hadn't wanted to make her feel left out. But she wouldn't understand the things going on inside his head, not like John did. I didn't want to burden you, Mom. You've been through enough. Laurel softened at that. She reached out, her hand trembling slightly as it hovered near her son's shoulder, but she didn't touch him. Not yet. Arthur, you're never a burden. John stood silently, watching the exchange, waiting for the moment to step in or step back. He wasn't sure which. Laurel's gaze shifted to John, the intensity still there but mixed now with a kind of exhausted realisation. I just want to know that my son's okay, she whispered. The fight drained from her voice. John nodded, stepping forward but careful not to overstep. I'm just trying to help him, Laurel. That's all I've ever wanted. There was a long, heavy silence and Arthur felt like he was standing on the edge of something. Something that could either break them apart or finally pull them together. We'll figure this out, Arthur said, his voice stronger now. He wasn't just saying it to his mom or to John, but to himself. The weight of it all, the rumours, the tension, the fear. It wouldn't break him. Not today. Laurel looked at her son, her shoulders sagging slightly as she gave a small nod. Okay, she said, more to herself than to anyone else. Okay. And just like that, the room seemed to breathe again. It wasn't over, not by a long shot. But it was a start.